Hello everyone, my name is Meg and welcome to my channel. So I am one week away from surgery. Um, thank you for everybody who has messaged me and um, asked when that is. It's next Thursday, March 30th, and it's going to be pretty early in the morning. They said around 7.30 I'll be going back. So um, thank you for the thoughts and the prayers. Please keep those up. You all are awesome. Um, and so it's really like, because it's a week away, I've really been thinking a lot about everything, <laughs> of course, um, naturally. And what keeps coming up for me is like the fact that I'm so freaking happy that we had already planned to hike the Appalachian Trail, um, like leading up to this surgery, because it sort of like was and became really my, um, like, I don't know, my beacon of hope, you know what I mean? If I was just doing what I was doing and working a job that I didn't really like and commuting to work, which I you know, really didn't like and living that life, like I would have felt very mm, discouraged, like very discouraged. But I had already at this point took a big U-turn with my life and said, no, I, don't want to settle for less anymore. I want to go hike the Appalachian Trail. I want to sell all of my things and move out of my apartment and just like live with John, the man of my dreams. <laughs> That's what I decided I wanted to do. And even though this cancer diagnosis came up a two, like two weeks before that, you know, we already had a plan. You know, one of the first things that John and I both said was the adventure begins March 10th because the adventure was supposed to begin March 10th. So what we're planning on doing right now is we need to be out of our apartment by the end of April. So that'll give me about, or yeah, that'll give me like an entire month of healing a little bit over um, before we move into the truck. That is our plan for the month uh, or so before the AT. <laughs> we'll have about a month and a half, but we figure that way, you know, we'll be getting out and doing things. We'll be keeping ourselves motivated. Um, it'll just like be, I think, a better healing process for me than just lying around the house because, you know, I want to be out and moving at this point. That's, that's kind of the direction that my life was heading. And I think that, I mean, that is the way to heal from a surgery like this, you know, you have to get up and move your body, move your damn body. <laughs> um, and you know, you don't want things to get stuck in there. You want to remind your body like, we're good, we're fine now, you know? So um, that was something after open heart that it took me a really long time to do. And something that I'm very grateful that I, I have the ability to process through right now, um, through this crazy experience. <laughs> but. You know, I said to my friend Jesse the other day, I was like, you know, it's been fun so far. And she laughed at me and I laughed at me and John laughed at me <laughs> because I was like, that's not typically the thing that people say when they have cancer. Like, oh yeah, it's been fun so far, but it's really uh, funny and ironic that that's kind of my answer to everybody. <laughs> so, you know, thank you again. Thank you again, Appalachian Trail, because, you know, my sights were set high and that's where they've stayed. So a big part of this message right now that's coming through for me is like, just live the life of your dreams. Like get really, really, really clear on what the life of your dreams looks like and then do it. That's it. It's that simple. We are the ones who overcomplicate it because we think, oh, that's what this person wants. Oh, that's what this person wants. Or you just keep telling the same damn story over and over and over. Tell a different story. Decide what you want your story to be of your life and then freaking live it. It's that simple. So that, <laughs> that's what's coming through for me right now. And that's what's keeping me so, you know, in a good mood and, and happy and, and joyful through it. Because I know that this is only a speed bump. Um, and I know that I have plans after the Appalachian Trail. And just because this thing came up doesn't mean that my plans need to change. Nothing is bad. So, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> um... Thank you again for your love and support, and I'll talk to you all soon.